same thing with me because um because we both started in 2008 around the same yeah. time hey nacho hey knock oh oh hi that was fun that was a lot of yeah fun. It was. I'm glad you had fun. That was, that was the purpose of it. And it looks like Metallica might be joining too in chat. So, but I didn't expect it to go into a tiebreaker between you and Nach Nacho into the end. Okay, Metallica has to go. So, thank oh. you. But I didn't expect it to go into a tiebreaker into Spice Mine Run. That was a fun way to start this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. And that Spice by Mine was was actually a PB for me. I wondered <laughs> about that actually. Yeah, I saw it was uh, listed on on your um your records. So, yeah, well done. Thank you. So that so that so you're gonna probably be submitting that to Speedrun.com afterward. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> That's but it's kind of I... funny. Uh, Winter Training, Vengeance, and Spice Mine were all actual PBs for me. Oh, PB like even with a death on vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that, you know, that, on that, vengeance. That's going just on wait a minute, that doesn't seem right. I gotta, I gotta look back at that. You crashed into the reactor core beam. I on did. The second lap. <laughs> and the only reason I did is because I got confused on which tilt direct which put me which way. So instead mm. of going vertical, I went horizontal. I was like, no, and it was too late to react. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it seems like you didn't lose too much time for that. I mean, having a three away with the death is uh, is is excellent. So um, yeah, actually, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So I know the one lap was definitely a PP for me because I, I got one flat. But yeah, one flat. I that's what I looked at. It's like like one flat. That's like really solid for this. It's like one flat's like very uh, world record pace, pretty much. For the full track. Mm, okay. Because the world record for the Vengeance lap full track is around 59 seconds. So, one hey. minute. So, yeah, one minute flat is really solid. Nice. How did you um, how did you feel about your match, uh, Knock? Because we, we both thought you did uh, pretty well for, um, you know, someone who's never done this before. Yeah, aside from my Beatles and the end of Vengeance, I'm very happy overall. I set two or three new PBs, which are, you know, still 10 seconds slow compared to what I would like, but, you know. Yeah, excellent. <clears throat> nice. Getting Vengeance, better, Vengeance um... is, always, is always a difficult track in, uh, in total. Yeah. <laughs> I was happy with my first two laps, and then the third one, I think I died four times. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I think... Some, did, did you find news getting getting to you a bit at that point? Or? Not, I don't even know what happened on Vengeance specifically. It felt like laps one and two, I was sort of locked in on the, you know, easier strats I had practiced. And then lap three, just everything stopped looking right. I've had that happen too with Vengeance from, and I go back to 2008. So it's a really hard track. Yeah, uh -huh. for sure. It's one of those tracks that makes you question why it's an amateur circuit. <laughs> yes, I feel like, I honestly feel like Executioner and Vengeance should be swapped. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Putting something without a gravity tube on the amateur circuit would be a pretty big uh, deal. Yeah. Yeah. Then again, that's the game though, right? It's you're supposed to go through stupid hard tracks and crash all the time. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. should probably say it's uh, it's it's not an unusual thing to crash in this game, even for for very good players. It's rather an inevitability, uh, just because you know it's, it's it's a very very fast paced racing game, and obviously with all the the you know uncharacteristic hazards of a you know a science fiction racing game, it's. Uh, you know, it's very rare to get through uh, more than a few races without experiencing a death, really. So, yeah, and even then, only on a handful of tracks. 
Yeah, that's true mm. as well. Some tracks as well are, I think, notoriously bad. I, I remember, I, I think some of the worst, if I can remember from last year, included Grabvine and uh, Zugger, surprisingly. But I think that's because of that bulldozer right at the end of the circuit, which everyone likes hitting. So <laughs> oh, I like yeah. calling it the Sucker Punching Dozer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Yeah, that, that those are going to be a pain in the butt on Zerga. Oh, well, does um, anyone have anything else to add before we wrap up? No, I mean, other than just, you know, thank you for organizing this. This is <clears throat> an awesome event. Oh, well, thanks. And, uh, you know, thanks as well for, um, you know, participating, because obviously, you know, uh, David's a very good friend of mine, and... Um, you know, it's, it's great. It's, he, you know, he's very happy to know that people have sort of appreciated his, uh, what he's done. And, um, you know, it's just good to see some straightforward racing as well. So it's, uh, and uh, obviously it's been nice to have uh, my co-commentator, just who, like me, was uh, one of the old school players, Ben, with me. Um, so, uh, yeah. It's great, but mm -hmm. we should say that uh, we're having a match as well tomorrow, uh, which is which at the moment is scheduled for being on Channel 3, and it will be at 12 p.m. Eastern time, and that's a match you don't want to miss, because this is going to be featuring uh, last year's uh, annual tournament champion, Ace, and um, a relatively new player in the community uh, who's already shown uh, a lot of promise uh named Domray, so they, they will be playing tomorrow for anyone who's interested, which uh, you've attached the link there in the Twitch chat. If you just go scroll back, you can uh, have a look there and just see what's coming up. But um, yeah, personally, I'd like to thank everybody who has uh, you know, been in of help for organizing this event with me. Um, you know, for all of our players today, for Speed Gaming and... Um, for you, Game Draco, as well, for joining me in commentary. No, this was a great way to start it when both of us were from Davies' era and knew him probably more than any other runner in the game. Yeah, David is definitely a beginning pioneer of, um, you know, this game really, really, like, with me, had an enthusiasm for, uh, you know, just seeing what could be done on it and, and take it to a, a pro level as opposed to just you know playing it casually so and it's i think it's um you know david was one of my inspirations as a player so um yeah same definitely. here with me and all three of us were like top three for that era yeah and actually i was um i should probably just say for the players who are here today you know um I was saying earlier, it's, it's great to see the development of this game and the, the level now which players are, are playing to is, uh, is is really good to see. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to bring this game to something that I didn't think was possible when I was, you know, a six-year-old kid dying over and over on Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was dying that way until I found the skip by Miles, who was the first pioneer of the skip of that track. I suppose that's one way to avoid getting killed, is just to not do the track and do the skip. Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so true. So true. Agree, not Joe. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm very looking forward to uh, the rest of the participants and see what they have in store for us. Oh yeah, World of Tank.